City Council voted to expand the Houston Police Department's use of AI when it comes to video surveillance. But today's vote is raising concerns about potential problems. ABC 13's Jessica Willie live in, to explain tonight, Jessica. Yeah, Eric, AI means different things to different people for HPD. It comes in the form of 64 new surveillance cameras, technology and expanded server space. Houston City Council approving this contract today. The department has not yet said where these cameras will be installed. In neighborhoods across Houston, safety is top of mind, but tactics don't come without scrutiny. I'm all for less crime, but at the same time, uh, privacy is also something very important that should be maintained. As artificial intelligence infiltrates our daily lives, today Houston City Council approved more of it for HPD. Voting yes on a contract to place 64 cameras throughout the city, TSU professor and former city council member Coral Robinson predicts problems. Some innocent person misidentified not by a real live person but by a camera ends up in the criminal justice system incarcerated at the county jail. Robinson and a colleague have called for legislation to protect against possible racial discrimination with the use of AI. The $177,000 contract approved today is with a private company called Airship AI Holdings and only they can provide tech support. So nobody can look at it and examine it to make sure that what it purportedly is doing, it actually is doing. It's an ongoing argument throughout the country. How well does facial recognition work? Who will be manning the cameras? In a city with an understaffed police department and consistently high crime, Ashton Argo sees the benefit. I mean, if you can recognize people as is, it would definitely cut down on the time that they have to spend looking for people or identifying people. So I think it would be a good thing overall. John Zandi still has questions. I guess it really depends then um, what it's being used for and then what the safeguards are because, okay, are we using it for crime? And then what safeguards and checks and balances do you have?